Yo, what's good? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And look, look, look. With OPO 9's release date literally on the horizon, two and a half weeks away, we are going straight into the OPO 9 leaders for our first impression. And our first impression, our first deck we're going to go over on the channel for OPO 9 has to be Shanks, okay? I put a poll out asking you guys which character you guys want to see first. Everybody said Shanks. In this video, we're talking about Shanks. And before we start our 30 minute testing, you guys never seen this before. I literally play my main deck, which is BY Luffy, against OPO9 Shanks for the first time. So you guys see my first impressions for 30 minutes, okay? I have no clue what this deck does. What you guys see on the screen right now is the current deck list. I had some people asking me for a deck list while I'm playing against these decks. So if you guys do see it on the screen right now, which you should, this is the current deck list. I got top 16 a week ago so if you guys do want to see a topping shanks list to practice while you're watching alongside me trying to play against this deck this is the deck list to use let's go over the cards one more time hold on so this is pretty much the shanks decks now it's time for us to spend the next 30 minutes testing out and getting our first impressions against this deck and how this deck will match up against my deck personally and just the meta in general. Let's go ahead and get straight to the content, gang. Let's get it. All right, first impression, 30 minute first impressions. I have never played against this Shanks deck. I have no clue what this deck even does, but we're gonna mulligan, it doesn't even matter. We're gonna draw, he passed his turn, so okay always use the flampy always use the search I always like opening up with the flampy search combo first turn if i'm going second and that's a fact not an opinion facts our turn he actually passed his turn again no plays wow okay so let's just let's just summon this kuzan and just attack at five maybe i should have done that a little bit differently but I don't even care. He's gonna lower our attack. So that is the power of Shanks' ability, okay? Every time you attack, you need to attack with an extra dong or that exact thing will happen. He brings out this blocker. The leader has ready here power. It's KO up to one, yep. So pretty much this thing can't be removed. And if it does, if it is removed, anything with 6K power or less gets free, pretty much destroyed. Very good blocker in my opinion. Our turn, we're gonna go into our Hiori. He's actually starving us out and we do not have the ace we have the sabo bring out the sabo okay this is kuzan and probably an ace right yeah definitely uh yeah uh, yeah let's do the kuzan let's do the kuzan right yeah let's do the kuzan um i really want to keep that kuzan on the board actually we can't attack for it yeah hey, let's attack let's attack at six drop this we want to really try to bait him to attack our Kuzan. And he can't KO us as well, but he does have the Ben Beckman. I do know what that card does. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he uses leader ability. He doesn't use leader ability, which means he, which means he's actually just gonna take this attack. Attack at seven or eight. He takes it. Okay, cool. We're actually looking in a real solid position, man. I'm just happy we're actually getting rid of OP08's better. That'd be one of the most boring's better ever. He's gonna attack at six. We counter out 100% of the time. 100% of the time we counter out. Only fucked up part right now is we don't have a baby. Not a baby. We don't have a um a rocket Luffy. We have to search for a rocket Luffy to get rid of this new gate here. We also don't have our KO protection, so we, we have to search for a Rock and Luffy. Hopefully, we get it. We actually get the Rock and Luffy. Let's get it. Let's get it. We actually get the Rock and Luffy. What a draw. We are passing up on the ace, but we need the Rock and Luffy to get rid of this uh, Ever Newgate. Um, actually, we're still kind of fucked up because we don't have no way to put the Luffy up. I guess what we could do, since we do are at seven, we could just drop the Luffy in Ice Age and leave Kuzan up. That's what we could do. Cause how many down we're at? We're at seven. Mm. 
So I, I love, and it'd be, and that's the thing too. If I do block, he can't just use the blocker because that blocker does chaos anything on the field. Yeah, this blocker does KO anything on the field with 6,000. So it literally KOs everything on the field for me. I think the move would be Ice Age. Yeah, just Ice Age. Yeah, I think it's Ice Age 100%. Right? I think we Ice Age. Yeah, we Ice Age 100%. Then we drop this Rocket Luffy. Get an extra draw. Get rid of this. So we guarantee. So we can also guarantee getting rid of that uh the Edward Newgate and Honestly, bro. It doesn't matter who I attack with. One of my characters will be dying, but we just still need to keep on having the pressure. We need really need to get this KO thing off the board. This thing's actually fucking annoying. This lucky card, this shit is actually annoying. That card is actually really, really annoying. The fact that it's a blocker and you could just kill it so by just that that's actually toxic and maybe i shouldn't have done that i don't know i don't know what to do here oh fuck it let's just say attack he's probably gonna kill my sabo by blocking and he killed my sabo that's fine keep our kuzan we also have another sabo in our hand and we also have two geckos so i'm not mad at that trade we need him to start attacking our life honestly he brings out Silver's Rally. He's about to, he's about to kill my Kuzan. Kills my Kuzan. Brings out this Uta for a search. Okay. My turn. And he's starving me because he's a pussy, bro. Oh, man. Uh, let's just use Makino take our last life we actually have this in the wow okay so that actually worked out perfectly bounce this back get our luffy use our power up be at 8k um let's go ahead and put another luffy let me see yeah i think we just have to put another luffy so we have 9k and just put an extra life there just so i can go back to the um so I can go back to the deck if he attacks me. Get rid of this Sabo. Um, yeah, we just have to go into Sabo and Luffy. Bounce back to Luffy. We had 9k. Leave that extra life there. Trash this just so we can get an extra draw. We might just get a search out. Do we get a baby Sabo? No, we get the ace though. We do get the ace. We might have to pick this up. Even though we're passing up our two Sabos. We're passing up a lot of our boss monsters. But I think I think we have to pick up an ace because we do have an ace in the grave. Yeah, let's pick up this ace here. And let's just attack full at face. So I think we're still looking good. Attack at 13. All right. <sighs> So yeah, that blocker card, that four cost uh, blocker is actually annoying as fuck, bro. That kind of fucked up everything. That card is so, that card, that card is crazy. That four cost blocker is crazy. It can literally just stop an attack just because it can just block and then it just KOs anything with 6,000 power or less. It's actually insane. Let's see what he does though. Like I said, I've never played against this deck before. Perfect. Hey, yo, thank you for the subscribe, Alexis. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you for the subscribe. Tap it in. Make sure you join the Discord as well. So it looks like he's thinking. I'm at 9K with an extra life. I don't care if this Saba goes to grave. Next turn, we could start cycling out with our ace in our sabo only thing is that he actually goes out into this shanks that's fine and he doesn't attack so he's just gonna give us a free draw I, i'm a-okay if that i'm a-okay if that i'm a-okay if that you can give me an extra draw we always use power up luffy or, or we can really bounce back but we bounce back we can't
Hmm. We could summon a Kuzan. Hmm. Fuck it. Let me just use power up. Um, we have to use leader ability to ditch this uh, ace first. So yeah, ditch that ace. Those two right there. Bring out this gecko. And after I summon this gecko, we have to start really applying some pressure. Ace, Sabo. Bounce back. We're at 6,000, which is very unfortunate, but it's all right. Gotta just muscle through. We're gonna get rid of this search and this Rock Luffy since we don't even need those anymore. We have six. We have a lot of counter in hand, so I'm not really too worried. Only problem is he might Goldie Roger us. Attack at seven, drops us down to six. You still have to give us a 2K. Okay, gives us seven, six, give me a 2K. If he starts giving me ones, that means he has no 2K in him. This would be a prime place for you to use a 2K. Yeah, he doesn't have any 2Ks. He has no 2Ks in hand. I was about to skip my turn and attack at lead for 11. Cool. And uh, let's just see what happens, man. He brings out this thing. Okay. I don't even know what that thing did. What did it do? Brings out Ben Beckman. And then he's going to attack at 14 at my leader. Yeah. He doesn't know I have the counter, which means I just won. He's not know I have the counter. I just literally just won. Yeah, I literally just won. Sucks to suck, bro. You literally just fucking lost. Um, honestly, bro, I think we should just cycle seven, eight. We should do seven, eight, seven, nine, eleven. So seven, six. You know, probably drop that. Drop that to five, six. That's fine. He has no counter, so this is at seven. It's at seven. Attack at nine. He, he doesn't have anything. And then we just cycle out with Gecko. Yeah, he lost. He could have do nothing. He just rage quit. Man just got put in a pack. So Shanks, if he would have had Goldie Roger, I think he still would have lost. I don't think he could have done anything. So yeah, let's get on to the next game. This is our next game here. Uh, should be Mulligan. No, we're gonna keep this. We he opted to go first. That's another thing I need to pay attention. If they choose to go first or second, I'm actually not really too sure. Goes out to Uta for the search. CD does. Okay. Always get the flan P. Always get the search. It always feels so good doing that. We have to get that. It doesn't matter which ace we have. We have to get ace here. We just get the baby ace. Um, and we looking good. Shanks is honestly, hey, look, Shanks is kind of looking a little shicey a little bit. I don't know if I'm playing this right or not, though. Goes in the Uta for the search. Our turn. So it seems like Shanks doesn't really have an early game. Seems like it's nothing but Uta's, and that's it. We're at four Don. Um, we can just put three on Garp. He's probably going to nag this with his leader ability. Yeah. And then, uh, sorry, I had to resort my cards. Let's attack at six. He takes that. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like this. Uh... Yeah, he's going to have to wait while I'm ordering. There you go. Now it's your turn, bro. I got to make sure my hand looks right. But uh, it doesn't really seem like Shanks has a real good early game. He attacks at two. That's fine. He brings out this thing when attacking up to one of your opponent's characters. Okay. Doesn't matter right now. He can't attack. It's our turn. Hands actually kind of look a little bricked up a little bit. Could Ice Age him, but do I really want to Ice Age him? I got Ice Age. Uh, I got Ice Age Luffy if I really wanted to. But I do have three of my, I have three of my fucking, um, I'll just use Flampy. There we go. 
Because he is starving me. It seems like everybody knows how to play against my deck because they're a bitch. Uh, yeah, let's just go out on the Sabo because we're kind of breaking a little bit. Get rid of these two Rocket Luffy, or probably one Rocket Luffy. Can't get rid of both of them just in case we do need some board remove. Uh, bro, I don't want to get rid of anything else, though. I'll get rid of that ace. I'll probably get rid of that ace. Or maybe the Luffy. Say, fuck it. Nah, we need the board remove. The Ice Age, though? No. Bro, I don't know what to remove. Let's get rid of the ace. Fuck it. And attack. Just attack that body. Yeah, everything in my hand is actually looking pretty stacked. We have one, two, three, two Ks. So that's six K in hand. Brings out the Ben back, man. Just got goobed. That card is so good. I feel like this deck counters my deck, gang. And I'm so glad I saved. I'm so glad I saved my Ice Age and my fucking uh, Sabo. Not my Sabo, my fucking Luffy. We actually get the baby. Ooh, we also get the Ace too. Yeah, we have to get the Ace. We have to get the ace. We didn't get the ace. I only have one left in my deck. Let's attack at six. Let's see if he drops. Use his leader ability. Okay. That's fine. Ice Age. Pop that. And it's on to you, Chief. So we got rid of a big body on board. It's always key to try to get rid of all these bodies from like E and lower because once he starts getting to the shanks and I'm not running Kingdom Come in this uh this variation of this deck, bro. I might have to run Kingdom Come. A lot of these new decks are just spamming nothing but big cost monsters. It's very hard for this deck to get over it. Kingdom Come might be the wave. He brings out this card. I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at the uh, my other screen. So it's our turn. <sighs> I hate using all my 2Ks to do this, but it is what it is. Um, Yeah, that's fine. We have to use another Hiori. Fuck, bro. I'm using all my 2Ks. I really don't want to do that. Uh. We're at five. We could just use that Sabo. We could use Sabo Pop. Just use Sabo Trash Life. Get rid of this. And then we could just use Leader Ability and bring out a Sabo. So we have one in life. Get rid of the Ace. Uh, we always go Luffy Sabo here. Maybe I shouldn't have used that for my hand. Probably should just use it for the grave so we actually have an extra 2k and we always get rid of these two Luffy's in our hand. So we're at 2k with a blocker. He can't Goldie Roger us. Attack at nine. And yeah, so he has three life. I would have an extra card in hand if I didn't get rid of my Sabo, but it is what it is. Kind of cycled that wrong a little bit, but it's all right. Brings out 12, 12 fucking shanks. Uh, we could take that because we already have another one in grave. And now since we are sitting at zero fucking life, now we can start styling out. Um, the big thing is, do we start applying pressure? Cause we do have an ace. We have both aces in the grave. And we also have a, a fucking Sabo on the field as well. But we do have both aces. We have, yeah, we have both aces. Um, We could just use the Garp. But I do, I do want a big body on board. So let's just summon this Gecko. Or should we not summon this Gecko? Let's just attack first. Let's attack first. Attack. It's unfortunate we had to use three 2Ks or to get rid of all this shit. So attack does nothing. It's fine. Use the Gecko Moria. And we go into 
Sabo, all we always go on the Sabo. And we always go on the ace. We are gonna ditch the power up Luffy, and we always go into Sabo Ace, bounce back. Bounce back just in case he has some crazy shit out of life. I don't I don't know what he has. Get rid of the Sabo and the searcher says you don't need to search no more. Attack at six. Give us a 2k. Give us a 2k. He gives us a 2k and he's gonna take this. Yeah, this my deck really struggles against uh big body decks like this deck. That's why I said I think we have to take out the Ivan Kof gang. It was shiesty and OPO8 and OPO8.5, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like Kingdom Come might be the wave to get rid of these bodies. This card is good though. This card is really, really good. Sudi does though. He attacks at ace. We always block. We need this ace up because we're going to cycle next turn. So whatever, at all costs, we have to keep this ace. We have eight two Ks in hand. So if he does try to go for Goldie Roger, he's going to lose two. He has eight. Is that enough? Nine. Yeah, that's more than enough. I only need three. He attacks at 13. He goes for the dragon. Okay. I see a lot of people taking out the gold D Roger for this dragon. Tax at five. Uh, just give him a baby. We need want all the bodies on board. Attack. Uh, yeah. Get rid of the body. Yup. He has two down left. And we have KO and Moon. All right. So we actually have to just start attacking. So let's attack with the Sabo first. We're going to go for game here. We're going for game here. Attack at five. Drop that. Drop that. Yep. Drop that. So it pretty much doesn't have to do anything. Give me a 2K. Give me a 2K. Or start emptying out your hand, pussy. He's thinking. Give me a 2k. He gives us a 2k. Okay, he does have one Don up as well. Uh, Let's just attack at life. He's going to take this probably. I don't see him countering out of this. If he counters out, he's going to give us... He gives us his whole hand. Okay, cool. Okay, so we can cycle out now. That's fine. So I think he gave us everything. So now we can get rid of this dragon. So he pretty much just wasted a turn last turn. So we're good. So let's go straight out to this ace. And then Sabo replace this ace that's on the board. Leader effect gets rid of this Kuzan. Dead card. And uh, Sabo ace. Cycle this out. Ace right here. Attack at six. Attack at six. Give me the rest of your counter. Yeah, give me the rest of your counter. Okay, so since he wants to be at two, bounce back. Hmm. We don't need another Gekka Moria. We don't need a Gekka, right? Yeah, and I have to get rid of one of my two Ks. This is unfortunate. Get rid of the one. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So let's get rid of this dragon, though. So I think we might have game, bro. I don't think even if he has Gold D Roger, I think we still win. He goes for Goldie Roger at 13, right? I have that's three 2Ks, and then I got the blocker on board, and he can't trash any. I mean, he could trash, but I don't think that's going to matter. I think this might be game. I think this might be game here. He attacks at 12. We always block. Do we block? We always block. Should we block? We always block. Or do we not block? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, gang. I don't know what to do. Oh no, oh, no. I, I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to throw. I'm going to throw. I'm going to throw. I'm going to fucking punt. I'm going to punt. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna block. I'm just gonna block. I'm gonna fucking punt. I don't know what I'm doing. 
Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Hurry up, pussy. What the hell are you doing? He's attacking full at face. He's so he's attacking at 15. Okay, 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 okay. He's attacking full at face. He doesn't know I got the counter, though. He don't know I'm built like that, though. He don't know I'm built like that, though. He don't know I'm built like that, though. Attack at 15. That's fine. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh. Go ahead and quit. You already know he was quitting. You already know I was quitting. Good game by the Shanks player. He almost punted. Almost fucking punted right there. He didn't even have Goldie Roger. Let's go ahead and get straight to the next game. So this is the last game of our 30 minute testing session. Uh, so far, so good, bro. We've been playing this pretty fine. I almost punted last game. I almost fucking field goal punted that shit. I was starting to panic. I didn't know what was going on. Always lead off with the flampy, then get the search. The flampy garb search is always the chef's kiss. I mean, you have to love it. You have to love it. Okay, so it's his turn. Let's see what he does. Kimchi. I actually like kimchi. Kimchi is pretty good. Attack at life. That's fine. He's actually attacking us. That's what I like to see. First, first opponent that's actually giving us a little bit of advantage by attacking us. Not burning all my 2Ks. So our turn to play 100% of the time is to bring out this Kuzan. We could cycle out. Yeah, let's just cycle. Or should I cycle out for next turn? Or should I just come? Or maybe I should just... I don't know. I don't know what I should do. It's either Kuzan or we could do the Yori play. Let's go out to Yori. Fuck it. And go straight out to the ace. And we can just start applying pressure as soon as possible. We have one life. So, yeah. We, or we can go out into the Luffy. Nah, fuck that. Let's just pressure him down. Pressure him down. Attack at seven. He's leader building. It's fun. Counters out, okay. Shanks term. Looking pretty good. We're having a lot of board presence right now. He's okay, he has to try to get rid of this card. And if he just try to get rid of this ace, we are definitely um Oh god, this fucking thing. This card is so annoying. <laughs> that fucking card is so annoying. It text at six. Okay, that was a fail. Good try though. This card is so fucking annoying. Um, I mean, I mean, we could flamp B. Yeah, let's just flamp B. Or, no, let's flamp B. Flamp B, then bring out the Sabo, right? Maybe not even. We did use two 2Ks off board already. And I don't want to want to, I don't really want to use the five drop Sabo. Cause he could just attack me at face next turn. Drop that Nibisi. So, so do we just summon the Kuzan and attack at seven? Do we attack at seven? Maybe just go into the, yeah, actually let's, maybe we should go into the Sabo first. Go to Sabo first, or we can just clear. I think you know, I think the play might be the flam P, right? Not really too sure here. Fuck it, let's just go straight into the Sabo. Let's go straight to the Sabo. Fuck it, you have a blanket protection, and we can start attacking. Um, get rid of the searcher, and let's get rid of let's get rid of the Luffy. Next turn, we can just flampy. Attack at six. Probably gonna lower this down. So we get easier for him to counter. He's gonna lower my, uh, okay, that's fine. We got what we want, we got a life though. Attack at six. Come on, bro. He actually takes both of them, okay. His turn. Let's see what happens.
like I said, all I know is we have to play around this lucky rogues blocker. The blocker is actually pretty, pretty base. He actually gonna trash my fucking lead or my Sabo. Attack me, pussy. You ain't shice like that. You ain't shicey like that. You gonna attack me? Let's get it. Now I can say my 2K. That's fine with me. That is fine with me. That's fine with me. Save me another 2K for late game. So we're actually perfect. We can now cycle out. We're actually looking really, really solid right now. Um, only thing is you're gonna have some bodies on board, but not really too worry about it. Just trash one. Trash this Sabo. I still I don't think we really need this Sabo, right? Yeah, trash the Sabo. Go into Sabo. And this Luffy. Bring out the Luffy. There we go. Sabo. Okay. You might have to keep that Ice Age. I ain't gonna hold you. Get rid of this Luffy and this Kuzan. I'm at nine, so I think it's time for us. Let's just use this. Okay, cool. So we could attack at nine. So this is gonna clear his hand. Attack at nine. We are running low on counter though. Hopefully he doesn't have Goldie Roger. If he has Goldie Roger, I'm gonna cry. He takes it. He's gonna take this as well. Unless he counters out. There's no way he's countering out of this. You gonna, you gonna blow out your hand? No diddy. This was a case you should have countered out on the... Okay, he doesn't counter out. So he's hoping to kill me this turn. Okay. He's hoping to kill me this turn. That's only the reason why he'll take that, right? He thinks he can win? He's gonna get Goldie Roger? If he doesn't win this turn, I win next turn. I have a show win next turn. Uta. Okay. So he isn't going for Goldie Roger. And he isn't going for a 10 drop Shanks. I don't know what he's going for then. I don't know what he's doing. Can't pop anything. So Rowley's canceled out. He can do a Ben Beckman. The hell is this thing? Silver's Rally. If your opponent has two or more characters with an original 5,000 or more, draw two cards, discard one. Okay. Okay. So it's a draw. So I think he's literally just drawing, just try to survive another turn. But this is all he's going to do. Attack. Uh, we always get rid of our 2K here. To be honest with you, he might be able to clear board. He has two blockers on board. Um, always use leader effects. He actually just quits. I think he just quits because he knows he lost. He had no more life. He had no more life. So yeah, man, this is pretty much the games, bro. 30 minute first impression. Shanks is real shicey. I don't know if I played it right, but you guys will know if I played it right in our how to beat video coming later on next week. That's all I got. But look, before I go, if you was feeling the vibes, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It uh